Welcome to Encounter Wargaming, I'm Jay, and today I'm going to be unboxing for you some cool little city streets throw terrain from Tabletop Scenics. So I got these little throw terrain pieces for a commission that I've got coming up. Uh, a buddy of mine actually asked me to make him a large amount of terrain for a game called This Is Not A Test. So if you haven't heard of this, it's sort of a post-apocalyptic, like zombie type uh, war game uh, set in present time. So I didn't want to make, you know, some 40k-ish terrain or whatever, and I was out looking for supplies to build said commission. And uh, I came across these things from Tabletop Scenics, and I thought they were super cool. They got, uh, you know, some garbage bins and, you know, broken doors and, like, a ruined bicycle and soiled mattresses and stuff like that. So I thought they'd just be fun. And obviously I'm going to put them together into, like, these little throw pieces to put all around the table. But I thought it would be fun just to show you guys the, uh, the actual kits and what they have in them. Uh, because I've never seen these before and I think they're wicked awesome. So uh, let's check them out. And there they are, the City Streets uh, blisters for t from Tabletop Scenics. So I think these things look wicked cool and I can't wait to break into them. I got my big ass knife here, let's cut them open. Let's think blister packs. I would bitch to open. There we go. Just dump all that out. On to the next one. Let's see what we got here. It's got packaging everywhere. Sweet. So, some wicked cool stuff. There we go. Nice little uh, fallen garbage can with all the rubble, or sorry, all the trash falling out. Cool. That'll make it for a fun little piece. And then they got these little, like, I don't know what you guys got in other parts of the world, but here in Toronto we have these, this is what we use for our recycle bins and our compost waste and stuff like that. And I assume these pieces are the lids, yep, sure are. There you go, it's a nice little trash bin. Cool. A wrecked up bike. You can see there, like just a squished bicycle, all covered in rubble and stuff, all bent up. Loving it. Got some cool, like, just random doors and like metal, sheet metal plating, so that ripply corrugated plating. A couple of garbage cans just standing on their own. Like it cool. And in fact, I'm seeing here, that doesn't look like a piece of garbage, that looks like a bit of the sprue. So I'm gonna have to go around and trim these up a little bit, make them look a little prettier. There's another recycle bin there. And this was one of the reasons I bought this pack, was these cool little soiled mattresses, look at that. That's super cool, right? I thought that was hilarious when I saw it. In fact, there was another set that I didn't pick up that actually had, like, little hobos and sleeping bags. <laughs> like little bums and sleeping bags. So funny. There we go. We got a washing machine. It looks like a washing machine or a, or a clothes dryer. You know what I mean? Sweet. Let's throw that on a nice little piece. And then we've got these chairs. Now I believe, yep, this looks like it's the legs to it, which is cool. Put that on, yeah, totally. There you go, there's the chair, right? Throw a couple of those around the place. And I didn't know what this was when it was in the pack, but now that I'm looking at it, it's actually a motorcycle helmet. If I can get that to focus for you guys. It's just a nice damaged up motorcycle helmet. That's kind of neat. So just put that around somewhere. And then we've got some little air conditioning units, or what to me looks like an air conditioning unit. I suppose it could be any kind of mechy machinery. I could put this on rooftops. I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe, yeah, I might put a couple of these on a few of the rooftops because I am building buildings for, uh, for this commission. Uh, what else do we got? There's another air conditioning unit. We got these little box type things. Oh, had it off the camera there. These little box type things. Kind of neat. They almost look like little file boxes or something like that, all squished up. Strange that there's no lid or anything. That's okay. You could probably even stack these. You know what I mean? Cool. And a couple of tires. You can put them together into one tire. No, I think they are two separate tires. 
So that's pretty cool. And that's basically all the pieces that are in there. So I'm going to throw these together and show you guys what they look like when they're uh, just, you know, cleaned and trimmed and assembled. Sweet. And there's everything that came in those two blisters. Again, there was two or three more uh, blisters in this uh, City Streets set. I only picked up these two because I just thought they were the most fun out of all of them or the most useful for the specific project. But now I've got everything put together and as you can see the chairs attached to the legs, the little recycle bins all put together. Looks pretty cool. So like I say I'm gonna be using these for a commission for this is not a test so pay attention for the terrain tutorials as they come out. Just before I get started on the tutorials I wanted to show you guys these cool sets because they blew my mind um, I didn't even know there was stuff like this for sale, so I think this is just going to add a nice little twist to the table, a nice little finishing touch, if you will. So actually, let's take a good look at the detail on each one. I mean, they're actually pretty well detailed. Here's the motorcycle helmet with like an exit wound in the back of it, which is pretty cool. They got these little boxes, which have been sort of crumpled and destroyed. Washing machine, air conditioners, the chairs I thought were really cool because you look like the, the upholstery is tattered and they look like they're saggy and just wet and gross. And then we've got the recycle bins, or what we call here recycle bins, I guess they're garbage bins as well. Some garbage cans, this one I thought was really cool, just the fallen over one. That'll just add a nice effect to everything. And the mattresses, this made me laugh when I saw them, the mattresses. What made me laugh even harder were those homeless dudes in sleeping bags, but I didn't think those would be appropriate for uh, for this table. There's not going to be any living dudes if there's zombies walking around, right? And then of course, just a random door, metal, corrugated metal, sort of roof type thing, and the bicycle. So that's all the pieces that came in those two blisters. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, this look at those little sets by Tabletop Scenics. I thought they were so much fun and I just thought, you know what, it'll be fun if I throw these guys a little unboxing video and show them what this stuff looks like because we do so much 40k on this channel and we're, we're starting to venture out into other games. I mean obviously we started the channel with Malifaux and we did Infinity and stuff like that but uh, they're all fantasy, sci-fi, this kind of thing. And even though this is kind of a post-apocalyptic deal, it's not in like a futuristic universe or a fantasy universe even, it's like nowadays type thing. So I just thought it'd be neat to show these little terrain features and that these things do exist out there for you guys. So you don't have to come up with everything from scratch. I mean, I'm the kind of guy who likes to build things from scratch, but it doesn't mean everything you have to do from scratch. These sets were super cheap. I think they were uh, $14 Canadian or something for each blister. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and of course, they're not terrain in themselves, they're just kind of little details and accents and stuff like that. Now I'm going to be using these to build sort of little throw chunks to throw around the table as sort of like small little barricade kind of thing um, to be added wherever uh, my buddy wants to put them as he's playing. This is not a test uh, in conjunction with the roads and the buildings and stuff that I'm building for him. So that being said, there they are. Super fun little sets. I thought they were hilarious when I saw them and I just had to pick them up and add them into this commission because they're just going to turn the terrain from a generic, you know, could generic urban environment into like what actually looks like the streets nowadays, you know what I mean? Like just these ruined streets. So that was that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you really enjoy these videos, please hit the subscribe button more videos are coming out in the future and we don't just do unboxings we do terrain tutorials we do battle reports we have a podcast as well if you haven't checked that out yet so subscribe to the channel and you get access to all that but also if you really like our videos please go to the description below and check out our patreon campaign for very little money you get a whole bunch more content as well as these are standard tuesday and thursday videos early um, as well, it'll get you 10% off the warpainter.com, which is a great Canadian supplier of paints and brushes and brush soap and all that kind of stuff. Great guy. Uh, and being a patron of ours gets you 10% off, uh, as well as a whole bunch of other perks. So make sure to check that out. 
If not, at the very least, hit subscribe, hit like, because that helps us a lot on the whole YouTube search thing uh, and helps get us more views, and that's what we're looking for. So, uh, until our next encounter. <laughs>